It's only been a week. You're supposed to be resting in the goddamn hospital. Yeah, I know. And you're all supposed to be out here watching to make sure I don't get the hell out of here, right? Jane put y'all up to this, didn't she? We're worried mm. about you. Well, don't be worried about mm. me. I'm fine. I just had to get from up there for a second, man. Look, look. Tell them more. Oh, oh. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? I'm getting us some backup. Hello, Amy. Hey. hey, what's going on, man? I'm so happy to talk to you. <laughs> it's been 30 years since the last Beverly Hills Cop movie. Uh, the world has changed then, the institution has changed, the way people see the police, for example, has also changed. How has Axel Foley changed during that time and what has he been through? Well, Axel, <laughs> that's interesting. Axel has not changed. The world has changed all around him and he's still doing it the same way he's always done it. And that's the, that's the perhaps that's his dilemma in the beginning of the picture. All of his contemporaries are retiring or, you know, put it, getting it, and Axel is still doing what he's doing. But he's doing what he's doing because that's all he has because uh, he, he had a relationship, with, he was married and it fell apart and he has no relationship with his child. And so all he's got is work. So when the, we, we meet Axel now, said that is this guy who's still doing it like he's always done it because that's the only thing that he has and it's kind of <laughs> kind of time to stop but it, this is all he has perfect mr murphy you have previously worked in different movies performing different roles such as in um, norvit the naughty professor and its sequels in this current movie a beverly hill cup you act with famous actors like taylor page kevin bacon joseph gordon levitt what it is like to act with other people that are not yourself? <laughs> I've never been asked that. <laughs> What's it like to work with other? It, it is because it, it is different. <laughs> it is different. How so? Well, well when you work by yourself, uh, you it's, it's you don't feel that. Uh, if you're working with another actor and and the scene starts going good, you get this thing. I don't even know how to. This this feeling when the two actors are working together and you get and you're nailing the scene, that's a, a unique feeling that you can only feel in in that situation. And uh, when you're doing a movie by yourself, you kind of uh, you don't get any of that, and it's uh -huh. uh, it's almost like you you do a movie where you're talking to yourself though. Because if I'm if I have a scene with somebody, I'll have a, a tennis ball where the person is supposed to be, and I'll spend the whole time talking to a tennis ball all night, all day. And then the next day, I'll come sit over here where the tennis ball was, uh -huh. and I'll talk to a tennis ball over here and listen to listening to what I said yesterday. So technically, it's all of this technical stuff that's going on when you work by yourself, and when you work with people. It's less technical and more uh, uh, flow and feeling and all that stuff that's going on. Ah, great. Uh, in English, the movie uh, is called Beverly Hills Cup. In Spanish, it calls Un Detective Suelto in Hollywood, What's which that means mean? a detective on loose in Hollywood. A detective you know on loose in Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> do you think, do you think uh, good, the translation I, somehow represents the content of the movie? Do we say it again? I was laughing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the translation somehow represent the content of the movie? The, a, a detective on loose in Hollywood. I, I guess. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> you could say that. A detective on loose in Hollywood. And it call you yes. call coming to America the the Prince of New York, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's another. Yes. This one in Spanish, in Spain, calls uh, Super Detective. Super Detective. That's the name <laughs> in Spain. I love it. <laughs> Super Detective. <laughs> <laughs> and and to end, I have an I have an idea. Hey, what do y'all call Shrek? You. What do y'all call Shrek? Shrek. It's just Shrek. Okay. <laughs> we, we call Shrek, and your character is burro, donkey. Donkey. Okay. <laughs> great, great character. <laughs> I have an idea. If it works, just include me in the in the film credits, okay? okay? The idea is to create the Eddie Murphy Cinematic Universe, okay? As there is a MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, could be a Murphy Cinematic Universe. So, for example, the prince from Coming to America could be kidnapped, and Axel Foley from <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop is the one that must find him, and the only witness who knows who kidnapped is uh, the prince is a dog. Therefore, you need to call Dr. Doolittle. I need to call Dr. Doolittle. To... 
<laughs> you know, you know, you're, jo you're, jo you're joking, right? But there's actually, right now, they're, they're actually, because they're trying to develop another Coming to America script. And uh, uh -huh. the, at the root of it is uh, kind of like, it was like, they're, try they're, trying to take they're trying to take characters from Trading Places, two or three other movies, and have it all. And I was saying, well, why not have all of them? Why not have all the characters? I'm not having a nutty professor and have a Norman and have a character, have the donkey and have a, and try to figure it out. And they were like, oh, we'd have to get the rights to all of that stuff. Uh, but I was like, if you're going to do a mashup, do everything. I would, if you could figure out a way to do a, a movie where I'm everybody in the movie and I've scenes with, you know, 10 people and it's all me, uh -huh. I would, all different characters, I would do that. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Just pull me in the, in the credits. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Murphy. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Thank man. you. Thank you. That's it. That's it. We made it. We made it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Murphy, do you know Lucho Jara? <laughs> This ain't Spirit Airlines. Let's go, let's go. This shit's supposed to be like riding a bike. You're supposed to get right in there and know how to do this shit. You was trained, you can do this. Get going, man, we got to go. Just shut the fuck up, I'm trying to concentrate. Let's take it off. Go, 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 go. Fuck, man, I thought you were supposed to be an elite pilot. I was a pilot, but as you pointed out, I'm not a pilot anymore. Hey, you look nervous. I am nervous. Well, why are you so damn nervous? I crashed a fucking helicopter, okay? Got my head. I haven't flown since. That's why I left LAPD. What? Wait. 